Hey, you guys. So the Lord was wanting me to share this, these two scriptures. <clears throat> I've shared them before. He's leading me to share it again and to go into the Strong's Concordance so people understand what this actually means. I'm going to pray before. Father, I pray that you um, speak through me, God. Not my words, but your words. Lord, get rid of me. Get rid of my intellect, my thoughts, my opinions. God, empty me of myself. Let it only be you speaking in and through me, Father. I pray, God, that those that listen to this, Father, I pray that it gets planted into their heart, Father, that you water it, and only that you give the increase, because only you can, Father. Um, in Jesus' mighty name. So it says, love not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of this world. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. So... Uh, let's just go into the Strong's. So if you guys don't know what the Strong's Concordance is, each word in the Bible is linked to a number that goes back to the original Greek and Hebrew text of the Word of God before it was translated into English. The um, Old Testament was written in Hebrew and the New was in Greek. Okay, so let's look up love. It says love not the world. <clears throat> to love, to wish well, to, to take pleasure in long for denotes the love of reason esteem okay love not the world what is the world this world universe worldly affairs the inhabitants of the world adornment ordered system um, neither the things that are in the world let's look up things in among <coughs> that are in the world if any man love the world this is huge the love of the father is not in him for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh let's look up lust of the flesh the lust desire passionate longing lust desire eagerness inordinate desire lust of the flesh Flesh, body, human nature, materiality, kindred. Let me see if there's anything else. The lust of the eyes and the pride of life. Boasting, show, arrogant display, ostentation occasions. Boasting of life. Life, manner of life, livelihood, living. What do you see um, people doing now more than ever on social media? <coughs> they're both, they're doing exactly this. <coughs> Sorry, you guys. I'm getting over a sickness right now. Oh my goodness, guys. <coughs> I had to pause this because <coughs> I went into a coughing spell. Coughing. Um, oh my gosh. It's coming back. Hold on, you guys. You guys, I'm telling you, the enemy does not want me sharing this stuff with you guys. <clears throat> I've had to pause this. I don't know how many times. <clears throat> oh, Father, help me. Okay. <clears throat> the pride of life. The pride of life. Think about Facebook. What are people boasting about? <clears throat> They're boasting about their lives. It's not of the Father, but it's of this world. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. <laughs> I didn't know this before. <clears throat> the Lord started calling me out about three years ago. <laughs> Along with other brothers and sisters in Christ that I, the Lord has connected me with. He called us all out around the same time, about over three years ago. <laughs> and I'm telling you, we ha the Lord called us out of the world. Out of the pride of life, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes. 
we gave up everything for him and we're willing to give up our own lives for him. And that's just not, that's, I'm not saying we're all, we're either, any of us are about to die um, because someone's going to, you know, kill us, but we've given up, you know, it's more in a spiritual sense now. We've given up our lives. We've died. We're dying daily, just like Paul said. He says, I die daily. We die to our flesh daily. <coughs> he said, come out of her, my people. Be not partakers of her sins, and you shall not receive of her plagues. Come out of the world. Come out of the system. <coughs> you guys, I'm going to have to pause it again. Now I'm going to go to another scripture. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Let's look up deny. Disown. <clears throat> Disregard. Right? That's crucifying the flesh. Taking up his cross <clears throat> and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Lose your life. Let's look up lose. <clears throat> Destroy. I lose. Mid. I'm perishing. <clears throat> to destroy. To lose your life completely. Ruined. You guys, I can't even describe what I've experienced since I've truly picked up my cross and started following the Lord. And I'm not trying to brag or anything. <clears throat> but it is dying daily. Just like Paul said. Dying to yourself daily. Whoso will lose his life for my sake shall find it. <clears throat> for what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Look at this. Gain the whole world? So if you get the world, if you want the world, you're going to lose your soul. That's why he calls us out of the world. Be separate. Touch not the unclean thing and I shall receive you. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the son of man shall come in the glory of his father with his angels. And then he shall reward every man according to his works. Which should put the fear of the Lord in you guys. It put the fear of the Lord in me. I fear him reverently in, in a terror fear. <laughs> That's why I, I I have to obey him. I have to pause this again, you guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, well. Anyways, <clears throat> this is where I want to leave it at. I might do a part two and to go, to go in more depth. But we have to die daily. We have to get out of this world. Because it's Satan's kingdom. Jesus even said before Pontius Pilate, <clears throat> If this were my kingdom, my servants would come fight for me. Therefore, it is not my kingdom. <laughs> This is Satan's kingdom. That's why we have to give up the world. That's why if we love the world, the love of the Father is not in us. The pride of life. What are you seeing everywhere? I see pride of life. I was guilty of it and then the Lord called me out. Now I can't stand. I love the people in the world and I pray for their souls, but I can't. I want to be back home with my Father in heaven, back in his kingdom. I want to get out of this world so bad, but I want to do his will first. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here. I love you guys so much. Please, I pray that you guys receive this. I pray the Lord softens your heart because um, the Bible says, um, Jesus even said, you can't come unto him unless it's given by the Father. So only the Father can draw you unto him, himself. So pray for this. Pray for the Lord to empty you of yourself and to lead you by his Holy Spirit because it's by his Holy Spirit that teaches us all things and reveals all things, not by man but by his Holy Spirit. All right. I love you all.